The BJP has announced a list of 195 candidates even before the poll dates have been notified. The list includes the party's heaviest hitters, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who is contesting from Varanasi for the third time, Home Minister Amit Shah, who has been fielded again from Gandhi Nagar in Gujarat. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will be contesting from Lucknow and Smriti Rani will be fighting from Amethi where she had pulled off a shock victory and emerged as the giant slayer, defeating Rahul Gandhi in 2019. As many as 34 ministers, two former chief ministers are on the list which also includes 28 women, 47 leaders under the age of 50, 57 members from the OBC community. And of the 195, 51 are from the all-important state of Uttar Pradesh, 20 from West Bengal and 5 from Delhi. Let me bring in reporters and I will be also joined by uh, some of the candidates as well. A lot of new faces in that list. Uh, let me bring in uh, Vasudha who is joining us uh, live from the BJP headquarters. Also Ratan Deep who will give an overview of uh, the, the entire Northeast and Bengal as well. Vasudha coming to you, your big takeaways. Well Maria, I think uh, the big takeaways... Uh, uh, according to me would be is uh, that we will have to wait for the next list to see the see the kind of bloodbath that many were speculating but uh, something of that so sort happened at least with regard to delhi because um, you know of uh, of the five that have been announced till now uh, we could see women power sort of like you know uh, coming through we see bansuri swaraj and of course kamaljeet serawat being uh, fielded and you know someone like ramesh biduri being dropped and remember ramesh biduri during the inauguration of the new parliament used extremely objectionable comments against uh, danish ali and that was not seen uh, uh, you know, in a, in a good light by several BJP leaders, including uh, the Prime Minister. So this is a strong mess. Someone like Pravesh Fadma, who won by a huge majority of votes, comes from a, you know, uh, heavy political legacy. He has been dropped. Uh, Gautam Gambhir, of course, in the morning said that he wouldn't be contesting. No, that seat has been left, um, you know, uh, for the next uh, few days, and that would be announced in the next few days. But also another seat, reserve seat, uh, in which uh, Hans Raj Hans contests from, that has also been left uh, uh, for announce, uh, announcement in the coming days. But I think uh, in the in, in states of West Bengal and UP. UP 51 seats have been announced and we know that India allies have already announced one third of the seats. BJP is cautious and aware that uh, you know those candidates have been making their rounds so it really wants to not take any chances there. West Bengal you could see a combination of both narrative setting and also strong leaders. So Shuvendu Adhikari who is you know probably the only member in Shuvendu Adhikari's family who's not an MP or MLA he's been fielded. Then um, you also see someone like Anirban Ganguly who was fielded from the very difficult constituency of Bolpur in 2020 when he's been fielding from another very difficult constituency of Jharkhand which is where, of, of Jadapur uh, which is where uh, Mamta Banerjee sort of like, you know, won one of her earliest elections from. Uh, you see someone like Priya Saha who has uh, cons consistently fought against uh, post-poll violence narrative of uh, the TMC. So, this is also a balancing act between rewarding people uh, who have been loyalists, who have been uh, fighting for the party. You see Saket Mishra, Bansuri Swaraj, Anilan Anthony being fielded from uh, Patanam Titta, Saket Mishra is the son of Nipin Mishra who has been a very loyal, dedicated, also an ace bureaucrat in the Narendra Modi government, helping the government uh, actually logistically uh, and politically overcome many of its challenges. So he has been given Shravasti, which is seen as, you know, a, a seat where a Brahmin could win very easily. Yes, so I think someone... these are some very important takeaways and also Telangana, if you see many MPs, hmm. yes, many and... MPs have been repeated hmm. in some ways, uh, uh, making it very clear. Yes, that... Making that it clear that the party wants to have a combination of both momentum and uh, strong faces to get going in some of the states where it is perceived as weaker for now, but actually has been making very steady uh, progress in the last few years.